plan for Ryan Garcia in the first quarter of next year? Comeback fight. Comeback fight. He's been out for over a year. Um, he actually wants to fight Isaac, Isaac Cruz. Do you think that's a good idea for a guy with a broken hand? No, no, I don't think. I don't. I don't <laughs> the guy's think so. got a head made out of steel. I, I don't think so. But there's something I've also learned that you know sometimes fighters see something that we don't, mm. and for whatever reason, I mean, he's just chomping at the bit, like you said, mm. and he wants to fight that guy. You know, I'd rather do a softer fight. Mm. So right now we're going and we're talking to him about potential opponents, but he'll be back either March or April. Breaking news came out of conflicting stories by Ryan Garcia and Isaac Cruz. On one hand, you have Ryan Garcia calling Pitbull Cruz Chihuahua for supposedly turning down an offer. On the other hand, Pitbull Cruz's team is stating otherwise. They claiming Ryan Garcia and Oscar De La Hoya are lying to the public. Therefore, let's unfold what took place so far to see who can possibly be telling the truth and who's lying. Now, first of all, one good sign is that both Ryan Garcia and Oscar De La Hoya are actually in the same book for once. Remember, when Ryan Garcia was clout chasing Manny Pacman Pacquiao, it was Oscar De La Hoya who came out and told the public that's just for Instagram, meaning that Ryan Garcia is clout chasing of Manny Pacman Pacquiao name in order to duck the Javante Tank Davis fight or find a way out of the tank fight, I should say. However, this time around, they actually in the same book. But the bad sign is they still seem to be on different pages. Let me emphasize on December 31st, 2021, Ryan Garcia tweeted, Happy New Year, sign the contract, telling Isaac Cruz to sign the contract, which suggests that Pitbull Cruz already had the contract by then before even New Year's began. However, Ryan Garcia owned promoter Oscar De La Hoya put out a conflicting tweet. Five days later, on January 4th, 2022, Oscar De La Hoya tweeted Pitbull Cruz, quote, we are ready to make you a very lucrative offer. You're coming off a great performance against a great fighter in tank. Now, wait a minute. Ryan Garcia telling Pitbull Cruz to sign the contract. Meanwhile, Oscar De La Hoya, five days later, is telling Pitbull Cruz, I'm ready to make you an offer. Meaning, he haven't sent him an offer yet, which goes back to that clout chasing method. The cap and roots of Ryan Garcia. I mean, how is Ryan telling a fighter to sign the contract before the contract even arrives? In the meantime, Pitbull Crew's father came out and stated that they willing to fight Ryan Garcia in a heartbeat. They willing to sign whatever contract as long there's one stipulation, which is they should still get paid if Ryan Garcia pulls out like he always does. And I think that's a fair stipulation since Ryan Garcia pulls out more than he actually fights. I mean, just check the record. Ryan Garcia pulled out against Linares, Javante, Tang Davis, Manny Pacman Pacquiao, causing Pacquiao to lose his WBA super belt to Ugas, all thanks to Ryan Garcia clout chasing. Then he pulled out of the Fortuna fight and Jojo Diaz. Therefore, that's a fair request by Pitbull Crew's team. Ryan Garcia can't just waste everyone's time without any consequences. Nevertheless, neither Ryan Garcia or his team in Oscar De La Hoya responded to that stipulation in particular. But two days after Oscar De La Hoya stated that he was gonna send an offer, all of a sudden today, Oscar De La Hoya tweeted, it's very unfortunate that Pitbull Crew's team turned down a very lucrative offer more than he did with Tank. Ryan Garcia also came out stating, Guess he was more like a chihuahua than a pit bull. Few moments later, Sean Gibbons, which is Manny Pacman Pacquiao promotion CEO, he responded to both Ryan Garcia and Oscar De La Hoya by stating, quote, Oscar, while I understand your desperation in showing Ryan Garcia you're doing something on his behalf in your role as a promoter, do you think putting out a falsehood like this will impress him? Question mark. That's when Oscar De La Hoya responded with, I'm just trying to make the best and the most entertaining fights possible. And you guys playing games. Where will you make the kind of money that I offered you to fight Ryan Garcia? 
Then Sean Gibbons stated, Oscar, happy holidays. Manny Pacquiao Promotions is ready to make Ryan Garcia a real offer. Biggest purse of his career. The fight will be on a real platform that millions of people can see, not some app that has very few eyeballs sitting by the phone. Then Sean Gibbons responded to Ryan Garcia by stating, quote, Hey Ryan, while Isaac Cruz may have a few concerns in his life, fighting you is not one of them. If you are serious about wanting this fight next, we are prepared to make you an offer with a purse you deserve. Please tell us to whom we should direct that offer. Then Ryan Garcia responded to Sean Gibbons by stating, quote, I could care less if he's concerned, scared, etc. You don't need to be scared to get knocked out. Just let's get this done. We both say yes, so it should be easy. That's when once again, Sean Gibbons responded to both Oscar De La Hoya and Ryan Garcia by stating, Oscar, I play no games. We are very happy to make you a real offer. For more than you pay Ryan, please call me. I'm waiting by the phone. Then on another tweet, he tweeted, hello. Then Floyd Mayweather CEO, Leonard Ellaby, gave his reaction to this whole mess by stating, quote, hold up. So you mean all of this is a bunch of lies? Question mark. But I thought they said, never mind. It's all a front and a shame on the media who are pushing this dumbass narrative. It all sounds good knowing damn well it's not happening. All of a sudden, watch how quickly this does a 360 and a new targeted opponent appears. Laugh out loud. Now what's so ironic, as soon as Floyd Mayweather CEO made that tweet, actually a new targeted opponent appeared. No Mercy Gesta, who's 32 with three losses and three draws. Gamboa is also a possibility as Golden Boy made it clear that they want a tuna fight for Ryan Garcia and Pitbull Cruz is not the one since Ryan is coming off a hand injury so on and so forth. Therefore that remains to be seen what they decide to do next. For the meantime Pitbull Cruz is in a great position. If he get the Ryan Garcia fight that will be great for his career. If he doesn't I'm pretty sure the Javante Tank Davis rematch is on the horizon. With that being stated, drop your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe below, and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace, and I'm on to the next one. Tank, I'm gonna say it in front of Mike and Jeremy. If you do not take this fight, your legacy is forever tainted. Nobody, I mean God, nobody, oh will ever remember your name. <laughs> nobody. The money's there. I know you love money, God, but money's there. Damn. If you don't take the fight next, your whole legacy forever is tainted if you don't take the next fight oh with me. Oh my God. God damn, Tank. I ain't never heard no shit like this. You five five, you don't need a ladder to hit me. You're gonna need a stairmaster. Boy, you won't be able to touch me. You ain't never fought a 135 in your life. Just different. Just I don't care what you oh say. Goodness. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Boy, I don't care. You too ugly to be oh. I'm all fucking kids. And that's what I'm gonna leave. Boy, I'm pretty. You ain't never seen nothing like me, I promise you. You gonna, you gonna go down. You see me with the bow tie, man. Two rounds is all gonna take. Now, but you can talk to Mike. Have a good time with Mike. Yeah, this shit, man. Oh, don't worry. You can. Hey, yeah, uh, hit me with that shot. You're gonna need a stairmaster, boy. Yes. Hey, keyword. Oh. Keyword. Woulda. If. I, if. Can if your me. next fight be with this nigga? <laughs> nigga, we on worldwide television. Can you fight this fucking mad shit, man? <laughs> Let's go! Oh, Let's go! Hey, sign in a thousand. Hey, look at me. I'm dancing. I'm happy. Look, I, I, I'm dancing bachata on you. I'm dancing bachata. Hey! 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 Hey!
shooting for 12 rounds, all on the line, our records on the line. Just wanna make that very clear for everybody with confusion. <laughs>